Paris. Who's that girl? It's Paris. My name is Paris. And I like to smile. We're all going to have a Corona story, I think, at some point that we'll tell kids and grandkids, but yours is something else. Um, you give birth to Paris and pick up the story there. Hi, everyone. I'm making this video to ask you for your prayers. Um, I've had a difficult last couple of days. Uh, you know, we gave birth to baby Paris uh, just over a week ago, which was amazing. She's happy and healthy. Um, but uh, after getting home from the hospital, I noticed some shortness of breath and just some weird things going on with my body. I uh, called my doctor after a couple of days and it turned out I had pleural effusion uh, from heart failure, uh, which thank God we went to the hospital. But uh, because I was in hospital for two nights, two additional nights, there was a COVID-19 uh, passing and I could have, could not have had exposure, so I'm home now. Um, but self-quarantined in a room where I'm separated from Paris and my husband, so I can't hold her, touch her, put her down for bed at night, which is really difficult for um, a mom who's just given birth. The drive to the hospital, I can't, it just, it's, it seems to me like we're going as fast as we can. Um, every fear that could have happened was happening in my mind. My body basically still thought I had given birth, and this was a week later. Um, and so she told me I was going to get out, so I was like, okay, I barely slept. I'm like, okay, get me out of here. Um, and then in the morning, uh, as I was getting ready, they came in and they're like, so we've had a couple cases here, um, and you may have been exposed. So you're going to have to self quarantine for 14 days. I love you so much, Paris. So much. Mommy loves you. Oh my God. I love you. <laughs> Keep being awesome, babe. I will. You're doing a great job. You're my hero. <laughs> One more week to go before Mommy and us are reunited. How does that sound? Exciting? One week from today, yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? One week from today, mommy will be holding you in her arms, okay? I promise. So I wrote this um, the night before I was about to see her. And I wrote <laughs> to my beautiful baby girl, Paris. I look into your eyes and I see the light and hope for myself in these times. If there's something you've already taught me, it is that everything will be okay. I can't wait for you to squeeze my finger. I can't wait for your eyes to make contact and stare at me. I can't wait for you to fall asleep on me. I can't wait to hear the noises you make in person, in person and whisper in your ear just how special and beautiful you are. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. That was beautiful. And we should share with people, uh, if you don't mind, the video you posted when you were finally reunited. In these times, like everybody, like you said, will have a story, and everybody has something they're going through. My story is no more special than yours, but I just hope that everybody has a Paris at the end of the day to, to smile about and to, to have. Having your child in your hands when you thought, didn't know if you were going to, it's a special feeling.